Welcome back to English with Gifts. Today I have a grammar lesson to share with you and this lesson is going to help to improve your speaking, listening, writing and reading skills. Yes, this lesson is very important and it's a very important part of the English language. Parts of speech. What is a part of speech? A part of speech is a category to which a word is assigned in accordance with its synthetic function, which means every word has a function in the English language. So for you to understand this function, let's get right in. Yes, there are eight parts of speech and they are nouns, pronouns, Adjectives, verbs, adverbs, conjunctions, prepositions, and interjections. These are the eight parts of speech in English. We are going to be looking at nouns. Now, what is a noun? A noun is a naming word. It is a name that is given to a person, a place, thing, or idea. Nouns are the subjects of a sentence. For example, a name of a person is Kate, gift, John, Luna. Examples of names of Animals are dog, cat, lion, and examples of names of place are mall, school, market. Examples of names of idea are love, joy, happiness. Now let's look at these examples. Kate is a pro golfer. What is the noun in this sentence? The noun is Kate, and Kate is a name of a person. The dog was sitting quietly. What is the noun in this sentence? The noun is dog, and dog is a name of an animal. Love is a beautiful thing. Love is a name of an idea. The bakery has fresh baked goods. Now, what is the noun in this sentence? The noun in this sentence is bakery. And bakery is a name of a place. Can you give me more examples of names? of persons, animals, places, and ideas. If you can give me these examples, you can type it in the comment section, and I'm going to be happy to see your comments down below. Now let's go to the next parts of speech. The, this part of speech is so important, and it is also related to nouns. Which part of speech am I talking about? I'm talking about pronouns. What is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word which is used in place of a noun. If you do not want to repeat the name of a person over and over again in a sentence, then you can replace it with a pronoun. Do you know examples of pronouns? These are some of the examples of pronouns we have in English. For example, hi, me, my, you, yo, e, she, it, us, we, they, them, is, her, there, my, 
our, myself, himself, herself, itself, yourself, themselves, ourselves, who, whose, whom, anybody, anyone, everybody, nobody, someone, somebody. Now these are examples of pronouns. I want to inform you that in English there are different types of pronouns, but in this lesson we are not going to be talking about types of pronouns, but in the series I'm going to be teaching, thereafter I'm going to be teaching types of pronouns and some other parts of speech. If you look at these examples, we have singular pronouns, we have plural pronouns, we have personal pronouns, we have possessive, reflective, relative pronouns, and so on. But I only want you to know that all those words, they are examples of pronouns and can be used to replace nouns in sentences. Now we are going to look at the next parts of speech. This next part of speech is also related to nouns and pronouns. Now, who can guess this part of speech I'm talking about? Yes, can you guess? Okay, the part of speech I'm talking about is adjective. Yes, adjectives are words that give information about the noun or the pronoun in a sentence. An adjective is a word that describes a noun or a pronoun. It tells what kind, how many, which one, or which color. For example, green shirt. Now, you can ask yourself, which color of, of shirt are you talking about? I'm talking about the green shirt. Now, green is giving us more information about the color of the shirt. It is not a green, uh, it is not a red shirt, it is not a white shirt, but a green shirt. You can see that the green here is giving us more information about the color of the shirt. Sour lines. The word sour is giving us more information about the lines. Now, can you think of more examples of adjectives? The tall girl. Which girl is Gift talking about? She's talking about the tall girl and not the short girl. So tall is an adjective and is giving us more information about the height of the girl. We are going to go to the next part of speech. Now, this part of speech I want to talk about is the life of every sentence in English. Without this part of speech, or should I say, if this part of speech is missing in any expression or in any sentence, then the sentence, in fact, you cannot even call it a sentence. The group of words or the information is lifeless. If the part of speech is missing, then you want to ask questions like, what are you saying? I do not understand what you're saying. Why? Because this part of speech is missing. So therefore, this part of speech is one of the most important part of speech in English. And we are talking about the verb. What is a verb? A verb is an action word, or you can say a verb is a doing word. It is the action in every sentence. And that is why you, you can see these examples here. Run is an action word. Paint is an action word. Read is an action word. Yes. 
a verb shows what someone or something is doing. So what are you doing presently as you're watching this video? What are you doing? Can you, com can you write your comments in the comment section? Tell me what you're doing right now. Okay, what am I doing? I am teaching, I am explaining, I am speaking. So teach, explain, talk, speak. They are all examples of verbs. A verb is an action. The action you're performing at a particular time is a verb. Now, this is going to take me to the time of an action. In English, there is what is called the time of an action, which is tenses. Tenses is related to verb because the time at which an action is carried out is what is known as tenses. So it means it could be in the present, it could be in the past, it could be continuous, it could be future. In the series of lessons we are going to be having after these, I'm going to be talking about the tenses in English. Now we're going to go to the next part of speech. Before we start this part of speech, I want you to think of some action words in English, use them to construct simple sentences and write them in the comments section. Now the next part of speech we are going to be looking at is adverbs. Adverbs are related to verbs, okay? And what is an adverb? An adverb describes the verb. It can also describe an adjective and another adverb in a sentence. For example, if I say adverbs describes verb, can we look at this example? The fish jumped quickly from the water. The fish jumped quickly from the water. Now, what is the verb in this sentence? The verb is jumped. And the adverb is quickly. Quickly is describing the verb jumped. It's giving us information of how the fish jumped from the water. The fish did, didn't jump slowly. The fish didn't jump slowly, but the fish jumped quickly. So quickly is the adverb in this sentence. Now we're going to look at another, another sentence. The man, the man, sat alone the man sat alone now what is the verb in this sentence the verb the adverb in this sentence is alone and it's describing the verb sat all right we're going to go to the next part of speech and the part of speech we are going to be looking at the part of speech we are going to be looking at is conjunction now what is a conjunction what is a conjunction a conjunction is a word that joins words or word groups together. A conjunction can also be called connectives and they are used to join words, phrases, clauses, or even sentences together. For example, we ate pizza and drank pop for dinner. Now a word is used to join pizza and drunk together, which is and. We are going to be looking at examples of conjunctions, or you can call it connectives in English.
For example, we have and, but, oh, no, although, yet, so. These are examples of conjunctions. And you can use any of those words to connect sentences, phrases, or clauses together. Now we're going to be looking at the next part of speech. This part of speech, it talks about the position of a noun in a sentence the position of a noun or a pronoun in a sentence. Can you guess this part of speech? Okay, the part of speech I'm talking about is preposition. What is a preposition? A preposition is a word that shows position or direction. For example, out, under, in, over, after, into, behind, off are all examples of prepositions. Can we look at these examples in sentences? She worked at her desk. What is the preposition in this sentence? The preposition is at. It shows the position where she is working. She works at her desk. Now let's look at another example. The sun was shining in the sky. Where was the sun shining? In the sky. So in is the preposition in this sentence. Now we are going to look at the next part of speech, of course, which is the final part of speech I'm going to be talking about in this lesson. Interjection. What is an interjection? Interjection is a word that shows strong emotion. For example, wow, ouch. Now, these are examples of interjection. So anytime you're making an expression that shows emotion or strong feelings, then you are making an interjectory statement or interjectory expression. I want you to use one of these examples to construct a simple sentence in the comments section and if you have any question if you have any query you can as well type it in the comment section because today we have come to the end of the lesson i don't want you to forget to subscribe to my channel turn on notifications so you do not miss any of my videos share these videos with your friend friends and families and also click on the like button. Thank you for joining me in today's lesson. I am going to be doing an, another video as soon as possible. Have a great day. Bye everyone. And I love